Eric, you were the one who discovered a Simabwe, which was a star, uh, recently the star of the art market in France. Tell us the story. The, that picture came up. It's a very small picture uh, about that size, you know, which on panel, which came up uh, in a small house near Compiègne and was sold in Sanlis for 24 million euros. Uh, but, you know, this, this is one of the first picture of art history. That's why it's so important. You know, it, it's, it's a religious subject, difficult subject. It's a suffering Christ. You may think it's ridiculous. How could they pay such a price for such a tiny religious picture? But if you put it back into its context, its context, this picture is one of the first really humanistic pictures. One of the first Occidental European painting coming out of the icon world. So it's that what what makes the price. It's a picture for a museum, but we don't only sell pictures for museum. Exactly. We also sell you know smaller value pictures. So, don't worry. Exactly. Yeah? So really. let's come back to normality and let's speak about two artists who are museum quality in the old master field and who are, who are more affordable. If you don't have a million, if you don't have even five, 500,000, uh, if you have uh, 30,000 euros, you can buy, for example, a Vigée Lebrun, right? Well, that's the thing. The Chimabue, you know, it hides the reality of the market and it deters many clients, you know, many collectors coming to us. Because they think old masters, you know, they're not affordable. They're million euros paintings. But you can buy a museum quality picture for 15, 20, 30,000 euros. Uh, for good? instance, for instance, that little visual you mentioned, you know, it's a, it's, it's a portrait of, a, I would have thought, handsome. You are, you are a better judge than I am. But I think he's a rather, rather elegant officer of the French 18th century in white uniform. Very grand. Actually, it's... It's a very interesting picture because this, non, this man is not a general. He's a minor officer. He's a man, not a man from the street, but he's, a very, he's very humanistic. And it's one of the first pictures of Vigée Lebrun, which goes against it. You know, Vigée Lebrun is an artist who, in the 1780s, 1790s, when she paints very grand people, uh, fetches millions. But that little painting, online, in mint, pristine condition, in the original canvas, which had probably never moved from the family for whom it was painted, made 27,000 euros. And uh, she was a friend of uh, Marie Antoinette. Yes, she was a friend of Marie Antoinette. She painted Marie Antoinette. She then, during the revolution, because she lost all her clients during the revolution, she fled to Russia, and there she painted the Russian aristocracy. She was very sought after, very very popular artist. So, and she was very modern because she was a woman able to paint, etc., and being successful, right, in 18th century. She, she was the most well-known portraitist of her generation at the end of the 18th century, just before the revolution. And then during the revolution, during the difficult years in Paris, she went in, in Italy, in Russia, in Vienna, everywhere. She was seen as the painter of the, of the period. And let's speak about Nicolas de Largillière. So we are going back in history. Uh, Nicolas de Largillière is, a, how shall I say, is 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 a great French painter who specialized in portrait. But unlike Vigée Lebrun, he's a more interesting artist because he not only painted portraits. He painted portraits because there was a market for it, and that's what the way for him to make his living. But Vigée Lebrun painted some marvelous landscapes, a few very beautiful still lives. No, Largilia, Largilia. Largilia. <laughs> Largilia. Painting beautiful still lives, landscapes, religious pictures. He was a much more open artist. And in that, in this portrait, which, like the other one, fetched a very small amount of money, particularly because it's oval. I don't understand it, but oval paintings do not sell. People don't want them. And that gives, you know, to people who have less than 30,000 euros the possibility to buy a museum quality painting because it's oval. But if you look at that, Portrait of Ali. First, she's rather handsome lady. She's rather beautiful, very grand. But if you look carefully in the picture, the Lagini is a colorist. He's a man who plays with his with his palette, with the reds. Between the red, the vermilion of the lips, and the and, and the garance color of the of the cloak. You know, you have a play between these two colors. And it's a marvelous piece of painting. You know, it's just it's just pure paint. And for let, 22,000 euros, you know, I think the person who bought that picture two weeks ago in the Rue in Paris with 
with um, the auction of Maître Fest, made a wonderful purchase, really um, um, worthy of a, of, of, of a museum. 